Hey, Dave Chamberlain I'm here from Next Level Outdoor Reviews. I recently did a review on some arrows from Victory Archery, and today I want to talk to you guys about a quiver from Tight Spot. Now, Tight Spot claims four reasons to get a tight spot. Number one is better bow balance. A lot of guys shoot better with a tight spot on their bow than they ever did with their old quiver off. And that's because the quiver offers a three-way adjustment system that lets you fine tune the balance of your bow. Your tight spot will act, act much like a bow stabilizer. You can move it up or down, forward or back, or in or out. Number two, it dramatically reduces torque. It fits close to the bow and is exceptionally lightweight, which means virtually no torque, and that means more shooting accuracy. Number three, never lose an arrow again. Tight Spot gives you 20 times the arrow gripping power of other quivers. So never lose an expensive arrow while climbing into your tree stand again. By simply moving the arrow wedge adjustments in or out, you can get a custom grip on each individual arrow. Uh, no more arrows making noise, vibrating loose, or falling out of your quiver. Tightening each arrow wedge to adjust the grip pressure on each individual arrow slot. The outer slots are designed to hold larger diameter arrows while the inner slots hold small diameter carbon arrows. And the wedges can be rotated 90 degrees for additional gripping power on micro diameter shafts. That's a big one for me. I'm sure we've all been there. We uh, crash around in the brush through thick stuff. We might be hunting public land and uh, we get off a well beaten trail and you're moving your bow through brush um, and you pull your arrow up as it's still dark, or excuse me, you pull your bow up as it's still dark and you go to take an arrow out of your quiver to get ready for the hunt and you notice you're missing a few arrows. There's nothing more frustrating than losing arrows as you're walking in in the morning. So with the gripping power of the grippers on a tight spot, no worries there. And guys, number four, the quiver is deadly quiet. Tight spot kills vibration and noise. The last thing you want is drawing back on a buck, releasing the arrow, and that buck jumps the string because your quiver rattles or makes a lot of noise. There are five features built into the quiver to silence noise and vibration. You got the extra long wheelbase, the bumper strip on the crossbar, the quad fit four-way spacer, and the super premium woven carbon rods. And lastly, there's acoustic dampening material inside the hood in the space between the hood ceiling and the insert. Guys, before we take a up close look at this quiver, I want to talk about the four models of quivers that Tight Spot makes. They have a five arrow quiver. That's the ultimate full size quiver that will help you shoot better with your quiver on. It weighs 9.9 .9 ounces. It's 19 and three quarter inches long and it's available in matte black black crimson, carbon weave, and 12 of today's popular camo pattern. They offer a seven arrow quiver that's the lightest, most compact seven arrow bow quiver that's ever been made. That guy only weighs 10 ounces. It's 19 and three quarter inches long and it's available matte black in seven camo pattern. They offer a three arrow quiver and that compact quiver is made for tree stand hunters that hunt in tight quarters and only need three arrows. It weighs only 6.86 ounces. It's 15 and three quarter inches long. It's available in matte black, mossy oak breakup country, and lost camo XP. And the last model that I have here, it's the Rise Arrow Quiver. Now this comes with a loop on the hood to easily hang the quiver in the tree. And it's four inches shorter than the original, which makes for a more compact and maneuverable design. This guy weighs 11 ounces, is 16 and a half inches long, and it's available in matte black and five camo patterns. So let's get this unboxed. We'll go over some of the other features of every tight spot quiver and give you guys an up close look at it. Come on in. Again, guys, we are looking at the tight spot rise, and we're talking about features of the tight spot quiver. First, we want to look at the hood. It's virtually unbreakable. It's made of space age polymer. It's amazingly strong. You could drive your truck over it. Number two, sticking with that hood right there, it keeps broadheads covered. The hood's extra deep, so razor sharp blades are not exposed. 
Number three, expandable stay closed. Expandable broadheads tend to open when you bury them in foam. Only the tip of the broadhead contacts the insert. This means no dull blades or accidentally opened expandables and an insert that outlasts foam 10 to 1. The lipped insert covers the hood edge. This silences any accidental contact with a broadhead or an arrow. Number five, you have one-handed removal. A simple lift of the quick lock cam disengages the tight spot quiver from the dovetail base, allowing you to quickly remove the quiver or adjust its position with just one hand. Number six is the tail fan design. That means that the veins won't vibrate against each other. It cuts down on unwanted noise. Number seven is the quick draw system. That keeps your number one arrow in the ready position. The arrow gripper nearest you faces back at you instead of off to the side like other grippers. This means less movement. Again, so the arrow's right here. It's just a straight pull back. Number eight is the optional bracket for use with movable sights. This is a standard bracket that's shown right here, but there's an optional bracket, like I said, for use with movable sights, and that bracket places the quiver behind and above the sight, giving you full access without compromising adjustability. Again, guys, tight spot quivers. I can't, uh, I can't say enough about them. I had the uh, standard five-arrow quiver on my bow for uh, the past several years. Um, I'm excited about the tight spot rise that I showed you guys here. Uh, I like that it's a little bit more compact. Um, I like the hanger right here on it. Um, you know, so many guys like to keep their quiver on. So many guys like to keep theirs off. Uh, this is the best of both worlds. You keep it on. There's lots of features that we went through that will benefit you having it on the bow. If you're someone that likes to take it off, uh, you can use the hanger right here. You know, hanging on a bow hanger that you have in your tree, a cut limb, anything like that. So it's just a great feature of the quiver. Uh, make sure you guys get on tightspotquiver.com. Again, tightspotquiver.com. You can see all the information I talked about and some more. Um, information as well. Tight Spot offers other accessories. They got a secondary gripper like you see here on, on the Tight Spot Rise. They have a, an XL mounting bracket that's a half inch longer than the standard bracket that I showed you earlier. Um, it gives you a little more clearance on a rest that sits farther back on the bow. Um, they have a, the redesigned movable um, sight bracket that I talked about. They uh, made that 40% lighter and it ha allows for 15% more rotation. So that's just another great feature if you use a movable sight. And they offer a tree stand bracket that uh, the quiver can mount to um, mounts to the back of a five or a seven arrow quiver. And you can remove that and screw it into a tree and then reattach your quiver onto the bracket. So it's, uh, it's a solid mount for easy arrow removal if you need to get a second shot out there. So. Like I said, tightspotquiver.com, uh, full selection of quivers. I said they offered four models, so I'm sure you can find out one that fits you. Um, I know there's a lot of quivers out there, and and some people will say that tight spot is a, is a little more money. You know, why can't I buy a cheaper quiver? So hopefully today I educated you on uh, why tight spots are the top of the line quivers out there and why it's worth spending a little extra money to uh, have a quiver like this on your bow. So appreciate you guys checking out the review. Like I said, I'll have more reviews coming out soon. And uh, like and follow my pages so you don't miss out on them. Good luck to you this